Hi friends, welcome to Vigration Technologies. Please do like and subscribe to our channel so that you will get latest notifications. And today in this video we will talk about the C surf if else statement. And also we will discuss about if else if else statement and as well as in the last we will just discuss about how to use the if else if else as well as our nested if statement. So basically the if else statement just check for the boolean expression and based on the boolean expression value it will just execute the if condition otherwise it will just execute the else conditions but simultaneously both the conditions cannot be executed either the if condition will be executed otherwise the else condition will be executed and the syntax will look like this here in the screen if you can see this is my if condition with the boolean conditions and if the first boolean condition will be satisfied then the statement will be executed otherwise the else statement will be executed and with this also we can just see how to use the if else if else statement and at last we will just see the nested if statements so here i am in the visual studio to explain you with some of the different type of examples like how to use the c surf if else condition as well as if else if else as well as the nested if statements so let's get started so here i will just take a int variable i equal to let's say 7 and here i will just use my if else condition so if i equal to equal to 7 and this is my else statement And here I will just print my simple value like the value of i equal to then I here I will just place i Okay, and at last I here I will just write console dot read line so as you see as you can see in the screen my int int of i value is 7 which means whenever this statement will be executed at that time the i value is 7 which means the if condition will be executed because we have the i value equal to 7 so let me just run the application so in our output window you can see the value of i is 7 so which means the if condition executed and also we can just change this console dot write line value inside else condition and this is just for the better perspective and if I'll just run now Then here you can see the if condition executed and it just print the value like the value of i equal to 7. But let's but let me just change the value let's say 8 I will just give here 8 then as my i value equal to 7 so this if condition will be not executed because this so because this boolean expression is failing and directly it will just execute our else condition. So now in the output window you can see the value of i inside else condition equal to 7 and also here we can just use else if i equal to equal to 9 or some other value just this is just for the example purpose.
and here I am just changing my i value to 9 to check whether the else if condition is executing or not. Let me again run the application. Now here you can see in the output window like the value of i in, in else if equal to 9 which means the else if condition executed. So from here we can able to know that wherever the boolean condition satisfies that statement will be executed. And also I just want to show you some more thing like uh, let me just remove this else if condition. So in case of our if else condition there is no need or we can say that there is no mandatory to use these brackets. So we can just remove these brackets also. And let me just format the code properly so that it will be easier for us to understand it. So now here you can see I just removed all my curly brackets. So it is not required or mandatory to use the curly brackets. Without brackets also we can execute the program or we can say we can execute our code. So again let me just run the applications as i value is 9 which means our else condition will be executed. So in the output window you can see the value of i inside else condition equal to 9 which means the else condition executed. Now let me just show, show you that how to use the nested if condition. Let me again put all those brackets. So here I just restored all my curly brackets. Now I am inside the else condition and I just want to use my nested if. So let me add here another if conditions like I just want to add some i value equal to 10 then my if condition and here I will just write few statements and after that here I will just write my else conditions. So this is also the way how we can write our nested if statements. So here you can see this is my if statement and in case of my else statement I will just add another if else statements. So which is nothing but about our nested if else statements. And here I didn't write any kind of code in it but for your purpose you can write any amount of code like you can add the console.write line and you can print the value but right now I am just not writing any kind of value in it. So this is how we can use our nested if else statement Next, or we can say nested if and also here also I can just remove this else condition also and there is one more thing is that I can use the single or isolated if condition also like there is no or uh, there is not required or mandatory to use the else condition so only the if condition also I can use. So here in this video I talked about how to use the if else condition and also I talked about how to use the if else if else condition as well as the nested if and how we can remove all those curly brackets and etc. So this is all about the C sharp if else statement. Stay tuned for my next video. Till then bye bye thank you.